My name is Mora Baja. I'm an associate professor of aerospace engineering and engineering mechanics at the University of Texas at Austin. I'm also an affiliate researcher with Space Enabled at the Media Lab, and I'm an MLK visiting professor. The end result of every satellite that we put up there is to one day become a piece of garbage. If it's large enough, parts of it will survive re-entry and then hit some portion of the planet. Because the planet is mostly covered by water, chances are it'll land in the ocean. When you start seeing school bus size objects, eventually it's gonna land on a populated area and people will die as a consequence of a school bus size object re-entering when that could have been avoided. And so the way that we've treated our ocean, assuming, oh, the ocean's big, who cares? We're doing that to space. And I'm here to say, look, the oceans and the land can teach us. We don't have to repeat the same kind of mistakes. We track over 40,000 human-made objects in Earth orbit, ranging in size from a cell phone all the way to the space station. These robots in the sky that we call satellites that provide a lot of data and information that helps humanity understand itself more than by any other means, Earth observation, climate change, war in Ukraine, communications, internet, position, navigation, timing, all of these are space-based infrastructures that are not protected or shielded from the likelihood that some piece of junk going at 15 times the speed of a bullet crashes against it and then obliterates it. Right now, on average, we're launching over 12 satellites per week. Just like we're trying to minimize single-use plastics, we should try to minimize single-use satellites and make them reusable and recyclable. High-tech and deep-tech have outpaced ancient tech meaning we're not having a successful conversation with the environment. The unintended consequences of our behaviors are leading us to extinction. And so can humanity take the foot off the gas pedal, allow Mother Nature to provide feedback to us about the unintended consequences of our behaviors, and then from there can we make some informed decisions based on ancient tech and leveraging the high tech to make the ancient tech scale?